stormy weather here. Islanders, welcome back to another video. Today I'm joined by Chris. Today's mission is to go out, deploy the sub, maybe pump up the paddleboard, might have a fish. Let's just see how it goes. Did you get in the sea today or? Uh, potentially, we'll see. I might just um, observe, you know. About an, hour and, about an hour and a half to low tide, so we'll see how we get on. I've got my wetsuit on. You never know, do you? Might be on safety watch today. Right, mate, we're going to get a speed. I think if we're going too slow, yeah, I'll just uh, we'll get pushing. Hold on. Is that, is that a real thing? It is now. <laughs> this in the kayak video made a couple of refinements it's basically a gopro we're going to drop down we've got currently 30 feet of water let's see what's down there it may spin and i may lose the gopro but as boris the blade once said who dares wins <laughs> did he say that <laughs> but, so. all right let's uh we're good You know what, I've made a mistake here. I've used the worst reel. I've got an actual boat reel there, I should have used that. So you caught something finally. <laughs> Can you imagine if I caught something with a GoPro? I can't catch anything with anything else. It's just the way the tide, the tide's drifting that way, so I should have chucked it off the other side. Oh, she's here, mate. We didn't lose her. Hold on. Truth be known, I don't know if that did anything, so we'll chuck it in this side as well. Imagine if it just seemed like a massive shark swimming past or like loads yeah. of fish. It'd be wicked. Get the reality it. of it is, it's probably just seaweed and like a sandy base. Even if we've got that far, she stopped feeding out. <laughs> if that's any good, I'll put it on the screen. And even if it's not, I'll put it on the screen. Full <laughs> bro. So yeah, this is the this is the sub. How deep does this go again? 100 meters. Wow. All right. How deep? Are you are? sure? You might want to check that. How deep are we? No, it's, it's 330 feet, I think. Yeah. So we are. Meters, yeah. Can't see that. Got about 50 feet here. 
We're in the middle of the bay. And I know for a fact that people catch topes down here, so like the sharks. Oh, yeah. So it would be pretty cool if there's something here. So I think the thing to do, Chris, was we'll rig it up. I did a video on this if you're interested in how it all works. I'm not going to show any of that today. We're just going to send it in downstream. Send it. Okay. So what are these used for other than leisure? Are they, are they professional? Bits yeah, of I, well. I, I completely rebuilt this the other day. Right. Had a battery failure. And uh, essentially I was a bit I couldn't couldn't use it for a while. That's probably why it's why you haven't seen it much on the channel. Right. Alright, we're connected. So I've also put a GoPro on the top just because it or it's an absolute epic to get it off. So here we go. Just check nothing's around other than them pesky seagulls. Let's do it feeding out, mate. If we want to go deep. Oh wow, wicked. Yeah, so if you she's starting to go down now. So I'll uh I'll drop her down, lad. Come on, mate. It's easy to drive, would you say? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty easy. Right, go on. Dive. <laughs> so yeah, we know it's give me a readout though, it's two and a half meters down, three meters down, so I'll just have to keep feeding this out. Making sure that it doesn't snag anything. Pull the pretty good. Five meters down. So I'll actually tilt it a little bit so I can actually tilt the put the lights on. Now I'll tilt tilt the sub. But you, they can see the screen, I know I've got okay. the screen record. So oh shit. We don't want that to go off. If you could just feed that off for me, mate. Yeah mate. And, uh, you can knock that off and we'll yeah. I mean it is a sandy shore all the way to Liverpool probably isn't it? <laughs> probably mate. So yeah um I'm just cutting about down here, but completely honest, it's just sand. Oh, I was hoping to see maybe the odd tope or something. What's that down there? And that's the visibility. Obviously, you can see on the screen, but oh, very good. Yeah, very good. A few currents down there, but we're, we're about 12 meters down now. Wow. Uh, but yeah, this is nothing to see. So when I don't catch fish, it's not always down to me, down to my issue. Okay, here we go. So we got the line. Mate, yeah, so situation is it's just sand down there. I can see a few like scallops, I guess, that have probably had their day, but there's nothing really else down there. What's that? Let's have a look at that. You can get a grabber for this as well, which grabs stuff. Oh, wow. sick. You know, for like treasure hunting and stuff. Well, for a first deployment from the boat, you know, it's not too bad. Well, we're, we're moving around a bit now. There must be some, there's a bit of current down there. 11 and a half meters down I am. Actually, I wonder, can you see it on the, uh, the dance? Um, under the boat. So yeah, situation report is nothing down there. <laughs> uh, backed up by the uh, fish finder. But to be fair, for a first deployment from the boat, once we start chumming waters and going to like reefs and shipwrecks, there's over a hundred shipwrecks around here. Wow. This will be epic. So I'll bring it back up and then we'll, uh, we'll move on to the next mission. How much fun is this though? Very fortunate to have these sort of like uh, tech, little tech yeah, things. Buzzing with that, mate. So Chris, Chris is a dive master. He's done loads of diving in cool places like Bali and where else? Malta. Oh, Pretty nice. much every continent, actually. You ever seen a shark? See, yeah, I think bot. that's what it is. And uh, there was a cave, and they had sharks in there. Not massive ones, but yeah, they were. That was a pretty cool dive. Tough dive. Lots of currents. Cave system. Mosaics. Feeling a bit rough today, guys. You on, you out on Grandpa's medicine last night, Chris? No, I wasn't. I was watching Top Gun, and I think I dreamt about it so vividly that I woke up feeling like I'd been in a jet fighter. <laughs> so that's where we are now. We're on a boat. <laughs> so my current situation is I'm trying to find the drone because everyone says, "Oh, it's on a tether." That's an absolute limitation. It's not because once you're under the water, you can't find it. I can see it. Yeah. yeah, right ahead. Follow the line. There it is. Yeah, quick. I guess. I guess. I guess, uh, I guess we should check out the underneath of the boat. Yeah. So you're underneath now, right? Yeah, not oh, yeah. fully, but I'm. I can see. I can see it, That's mate. Cool. Yeah. This is basically the shark eye view right now. Yeah, cool. <laughs> when we start jumping, I'll just jump in. I'll yeah. jump in and just check yeah. it out. Yeah. <laughs> straight out of the box. I've had these before, to be honest. When I went to the Maldives, 
years ago I had one for the old GoPro 5, which I lost paraglide and I was fuming about that to be fair. <laughs> I was not happy at all, brother. <sighs> Whew! <laughs> right. Ugh. Problem with freediving fins on a boat is the massive. Hey up, sailor! <laughs> If I do come back, you can have the boat. Cheers, bro. myself out on the auxiliary. You cheeky get. Bro, we were lucky. Then look at that. The GoPro uh, Oh shit. We nearly lost her. Don't know if you see the chopper up there. You wouldn't get me on one of them without a parachute attached. Jumped out of a few helicopters. I've not seen one I liked yet. Chris is surviving. So we're going to get some scuba gear and go off here at some point. Eventually, yeah. Somewhere decent. Yeah, yeah. So it was my plan, it was my plan to uh, chuck in the boat rod with some feathers. But based on that uh, sub exploration, I'm not going to waste my time today, guys. I've already embarrassed myself enough with my uh, fishing skills on the channel. Okay. So I think what we'll do now is tidy this uh, underwater drone up. All right, mate. So next mission, push out a little bit further. And, have you ever thought, we have a paddle ward on board. Yes, a 16, 16 foot boat with essentially 11 foot paddle ward on board. Can you deploy the paddle ward from the boat? We're gonna try it out. Actually, looking good. You're looking better, mate, I'll give you that. Feel better. Gotta get it out. So I don't really want to be using the old uh, conventional bicycle style pump to pump up the paddleboard, which is right there. So I'm going to use this beast. It's called an Airbank D6 Whale Shark Pro. It's a rechargeable pump. Essentially, it can pump up and deflate something like five paddleboards. So let's give it a go. I'm not going to do a techie review or anything. You know, if there's a demand for that, I'll do it. But for now, let's just see if we can do this on a boat. What do you reckon, Chris? Can we? Easy, bro. Well. All right, so it's pretty much no pretty way to do this. I'm not gonna lie, uh, but I think most people would test these things out before bringing them out to sea. But me being me, I didn't do that. It's battery powered, right? Yeah, mate, rechargeable. Wow. He says it doesn't turn on. All oh, right, yeah, she's on. 15 psi. Here we go. That's pretty good. Uh, so now Chris can feel safe because we've got a life raft now. Uh, to be fair, <laughs> I'm not planning on going out on this. I just wanted to test it out. It also deflates, so it should almost like vacuum pack it back up, which is pretty cool. But when we do the boat camping stuff, uh, 
being able to sort of pump this up and deploy it without it taking loads of space up or towing behind winner i'm pretty made up with that right let's deflate her and uh fold her up and not bad eh that's decent fold up the life raft i mean let's be honest the shit really hit the fan you ain't got time to pump this up and swimming <laughs> I was planning on doing a bit of fishing as well, but it's not going to happen. And way the tide is, do we get him back? So uh, me and Chris, we're going to bring the boat back in now. He's going to help me uh, bring it in, hopefully. Yeah, I'll give it a go. <laughs> He's going to be the man on the hook. Did you see that picture? of a taupe shark that got bitten on half by a bigger shark. That's nuts, man. British waters. You reckon it was a Mako shark? Really? Yeah. I'll put it up on the screen for anyone who cares while we're bringing her in. Where we used to do a lot of jumping. Oh yeah, I've seen you jump off there. With the, um, the never-ending battle with the harbour master, which I completely respect, by the way. <laughs> it's a rite of passage for everybody in Laxey. It's probably actually jump off the beer. Yeah, and get bollocks and get a chase. Oh, the Do it again. Really sound. He totally gets it. And anyone who's got a boat here does as well. Yeah. It's safer here than it is to go over there. look for kids coming through here. Like. Yeah. Right way, we're back anyway. So guys, I hope you can see the potential in all the underwater tech stuff. And uh, this has been a great little adventure. There'll be plenty more, great little boats. Still got plenty of little jobs I want to do to it, but obviously I'll do them on the channel. So uh, Chris, thanks for joining me, mate. Yeah, thanks for having me. And uh, we'll see you all again. You have to come out for a camping video, mate. Yeah. <laughs>